This is my Benjamin Prowler pellet rifle. Bought it at Walmart for $98. I bought my, dollar, my daughter one also. And I replaced the scope on it because I don't like the scopes that Crossman sends. They're really chintzy. But they're okay, you know, for someone that wants to shoot like 10 yards. Uh, anyways, what I want to talk about is um, using this as like a self-defense thing. Most people disagree with me, say pellet rifles uh, really aren't effective. Well, they, they're not always effective for, like, if you want to kill somebody. Uh, I don't feel like, uh, like if somebody's breaking in my house or something like that, I necessarily have to kill them. But a lot of pellet rifles are capable of that, which this one is capable of it. Uh, but to shoot into somebody's brain, uh, this one won't do that. Unless you get, like, a temple shot. So I shot a, one pellet into each one of these half-inch boards. And if it went all the way through, it would go through a person's brain, most likely. So these are an eighth of an inch. I marked them off. And so that's eighth, eighth of an inch penetration into a person's skull, if you shot it into their skull. It takes seven foot-pounds of energy to break a person's collarbone. Okay. And these shoot the crossman destroyer pellets at 725 feet per second and the Crossman hollow point pellets at 750 feet per second. Um, the 725 feet per second pellets create 17 foot-pounds of energy. And that's uh, right on the cusp of uh, small game hunting. You know, so like raccoons and things like that. Um, it is more than twice as capable to break somebody's collarbone if you hit a minute. If you hit somebody in the eye or the throat or something like that, um, you're going to most likely um, cause a lot of damage on the person. So I would say that as a good home defense weapon, instead of going out and buying like a firearm and things like that for hundreds of dollars and that kind of thing, and going through the registration process and the background checks, um, if a person uh, wants to, they can go down and get one of these, or they can go online and buy one. And um, that's pretty cool. On Walmart.com, this $98 rifle is on sale for about $60 right now. So that's a pretty good deal. You know, you want to get yourself a good pellet rifle, something you can target shoot with, or shoot mice, rats, things like that. And or go hunting for squirrels, jackrabbits, birds, turkeys, um, raccoons. This is a good rifle for that, in my opinion. Um... It's a 22 caliber, and it costs um, between like $5 on up for a, a tin full of uh, pellets. So, pretty good deal. Uh, this one has a nitrogen piston in it, so you can cock it ahead of time without any pellet in it. Put it in the closet, and it's ready to put a pellet in without cocking it after that. Because the nitrogen piston, you can leave it cocked for as long as you want to. Uh, there's no spring fatigue since there's no spring. Um, and these don't wear out as easy as the spring versions do of the rifles. So, And they're not very loud. And they don't have much recoil. Uh, weighs a little over six pounds. So you want to take it in the woods? It's a good weapon to carry around with a sling. Alright, thanks.